Let the drums roll. The Apple VR and AR technology-enabled smart glasses are not just speculations anymore. Although no mention of this technology was made at the just-concluded WWDC event, Apple has been exploring the virtual reality and augmented reality for over a decade. It's rumored that the tech giant has a 1,000-employee-strong secret research unit working on AR VR. Well, the rumors are finally becoming real as Apple recently released a set of prototypes that has set the tech community into a frenzy. From the proposed sleek design to the simple interface, there's every indication that this latest product from Apple is set to revolutionize the market for smart glasses. And do you know the most beautiful thing about this? They might be coming sooner than you think. How soon? Well, let's take a look at what popular tech host and leaker John Prosser said. Apple is set to release an augmented reality glass under the brand name Apple Glass, which to me wouldn't come as a surprise since Apple is fond of keeping it simple when it comes to their techie names. However, I wouldn't put it past them to switch the names at the very last minute. Next, Prosser said the Apple Glasses will retail at a starting price of $499 for non-prescription and a higher price for smart glasses with prescriptions. According to him, Apple is said to also release a VR headset, which is said to have a smaller build than the Oculus Quest. More so, he said the proposed device will rely on iPhone pairing, just like the first Apple Watch. Most importantly, Prosser places the release date for Apple VR headset and AR glasses around late March 2021. Exciting, right? Well, not everyone is on board with this prediction, and Bloomberg has the loudest opposing voice. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman has called out some of Prosser's leaks as a complete fiction. According to Bloomberg, the Apple Smart Glasses will run on proprietary operating system called Reality Operating System, or ROS, an abbreviation. Like Prosser, they also said the Smart Glasses will run on system on a package chip similar to what's in Apple Watches, and it will rely on iPhones at the onset. So here's what Bloomberg tells us to expect from the Google AR smart glasses. First, Apple is working on an AR headset and smart glasses which will be released in 2021 and 2022, respectively. The headset will have a similar build to the Oculus Quest, but it will have a lighter and more sleek design. More so, it will use fabrics and other lightweight materials to ensure comfortable use. The VR headset will feature a camera and a high-resolution display. What's more interesting is that users will be able to see people and objects standing before and after virtual projections. What's more, the new device will map surfaces and edges with greater accuracy than existing devices. Let's not forget that Apple's latest 11 and 12.9 inch iPad Pro models have LiDAR scanners. For those who might not know, the LiDAR is a time of flight system that shoots low level lasers into an environment. Via the reflections of its laser beams, it is able to accurately provide a 3D depth map. It is expected that the headset will feature a tech based on this scanner. Apple wants to create an app store for the headset with a focus on gaming, streaming video content, and video conferencing. It will be controlled via Siri, though Apple is also testing a physical remote. Apple and Foxconn are developing semi-transparent lenses for an AR headset, and the lenses have moved from the prototyping stage to trial production, the final step before mass production. At the trial production stage, the design is typically locked down, which does suggest that the product is in the final stages of development. The VR headset will feature an 8K display for each eye that would be untethered from either a computer or a smartphone, and it would work with both virtual and augmented reality applications. More so, the headset in the later phase will not rely on a connection to a computer or a smartphone, but also connect to a dedicated box using a high-speed short-range wireless technology called 60 GHz Wi-Gig. The box would be powered by a custom 5 nanometer Apple processor that's more powerful than anything currently available. The box apparently resembles a PC tower, but it won't be an actual Mac computer. Besides Bloomberg speculations and leaks, let's talk about our own speculations about the Apple Glasses, and we think it will soon be released. Let's start with that little piece of tech that we've all come to love, the Apple AirPods. These audio devices have always been regarded as test beds for future technology. With the spatial audio feature in recent AirPod models, it is now possible to use head movement to control your audio devices. Now, think about this innovative feature when coupled with AR and VR headsets and glasses. 
You can see how this would provide a seamless experience for the user. Let's not forget that Apple AR can now cast virtual video screens. No doubt this is also a prime piece of technology that we can expect to see in the Apple glasses. Perhaps in subsequent products, right now AR and VR technology doesn't do that great of a job projecting people's faces into a virtual world. A majority of what we see with Zoom-like conference apps like Spatial is a crude avatar that looks like rough sketches of some real acquaintances. No doubt the company is in a right position to launch its smart glasses and revolutionize the market, thanks to the parents that they've accumulated in this field. Mind you, don't get your hopes up yet. It will take a while for Apple to fully utilize the full extent of VR and AR technology. Just like most Apple products, Apple smart glasses will not initially contain ground-shaking features. However, these devices will become better and even more efficient, and we can't wait to see how it all turns out. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and tell us what you think about Apple smart glasses and the possible applications for this piece of tech in the comments below. Check out our other videos and subscribe. Click on that notification icon so you can see new videos as they are uploaded. And that's it for now. Until next time.